we want to give a shout out to Vivian. We hope you enjoyed Melody's release at the American Girl Place LA and keep on crafting. This is Melody's 1960s recording studio and you can get it from American Girl for $250. This is exactly how it looks when you take it out of the box. So it's already put together and the back room is even folded up. So the back wall just came out. Let's close that. So it comes like this, completely closed up. And then there isn't really anything to keep that back wall from sliding. It keeps wanting to pop open. And then the outside of the recording studio wall is this. It looks like a brick wall. So that would be fun to craft and add on to the recording studio. And then when you want to open it up, you just push the wall out and you pop the floor down. The wall doesn't really want to stay in place. There's not like anything magnetic or anything to pop it into place. So it does keep wanting to slide back. So you'll just have to push it up against a wall or just be careful. Comes with music sheets, a sticker sheet so you can decorate the studio with the stickers. I'm not a huge fan of the stickers, but it's an option. This is the instruction booklet. And then the floor and the walls of the recording studio are wood. Personally, I think it's a modified MDF or something. It doesn't quite feel like wood, but it's the same type of material that American Girl uses for all of the larger items. There still are plastic pieces on the recording studio though. It comes with an adjustable music stand, a metal chair, and headphones that we'll look at closer later. So this is what the recording studio looks like from the front when it's completely opened up. It has two rooms, a large room for the singer and then a small room for the recording side. Everything goes in its place like this. So the chair does fit on the floor when it's pushed in and the side wall to the recording room is plastic. There is a little case that opens up and this is where you store all the reels. So it comes with three. Lift every voice and sing and this little light of mine and let me help you. Now three fit on a shelf so there's room to make more and add three more on the bottom and then it just closes up when not in use. So that's a cool little storage area. And then up on the side wall is where you actually attach the reels. Now all these buttons that you see up here are just for pretend. They don't, you can't push them, they don't work, but the reels do spin. So you can pop them off. This one is just a blank one and then you can put them into place. Now the recording studio does require three AA batteries, so you have to put the batteries in before it will play music or before you can record music, but it does play the actual songs that you put on, which is so neat. And then it has several lights throughout this side of the recording studio that light up when you're recording. See, it says quiet please, recording in progress. And there's also a speaker up there. So you can record, you can listen to music, you can record yourself singing, which is so neat. So this is the record button. So when you want to record yourself singing, you just press that button. You can record it with no background music or you can have a reel playing and record that as the background music. To play it back, you just hit the green button and you can hear yourself. These little switches are just for play. They don't do anything. You can move them up and down. This is the volume control. And then the one, two, three, you can save up to three of your own songs that you've recorded. So once you record it, you just hold one of these buttons down until it beeps and it will save what you recorded. So it's so neat to hear that and that you can keep up to three different recordings. So that's neat. And then this button is basically a communication mic through to the other side. It's just for play. It already has pre-recorded messages on it. So this is the switchboard. So I think it's pretty neat. All the lights come up and it's just cool. On the side of the switchboard, there are two baskets for your sheet music or magazines. And then right here you have a yellow telephone. The buttons don't really work. It doesn't make any noise. It does have a long cord and the dolls can hold it. There you go. And then here's the music stand. Like I said, it does adjust just like a normal music stand. It can go up and down and then it can slant. 
And it comes with quite a few pieces of sheet music and they are real. So you can read the music and play the music. And then a pair of over the ear headphones, just like you would wear in a real recording studio. So it is perfect for the dolls. It fits perfectly. There are no cords on it, you just put it on the doll's head and then it hangs up on a hook on the wall. This is the hanging overhead mic. It moves all the way from wall to wall, side to side. It has to be stored at the very edge of the wall so it doesn't hit the glass when you close up the recording studio. However, this means when it's pulled out to the middle of the room, Melody can't stand in front of it and sing into it. It has to be off to the side, unless she's standing off the floor outside the studio. There are two plexiglass windows that you can see through, one that looks directly into the recording studio and one that looks to the outside, so the outside world can see Melody sing away. This is the chair that comes with the recording studio. I love this chair. It's a metal chair. It's very accurate. It swivels, so it spins completely around. You see? It has like a vinyl cushion, so you don't want to get a rip in it. So there it is from the bottom. It's so cool. However, mine is slanted, so it does sit completely crooked, which most swivel chairs do eventually anyway, so not that big of a deal. Yours might not come crooked, it could just be mine. And the doll does fit in it, as well as an American Girl doll can sit down in a chair. So this is what Melody looks like when she's sitting in it. She can put her hands off to the side rest, and she can spin around. Whee! So, tell us what you think of Melody's recording studio. It's $250. Are you gonna buy it or do you think we should craft our own unique version?